Hello and welcome back to our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today, as opposed to responding to alerts, we are running through the exercises in the DFIR, or Digital Forensics Incident Response category uh, that they've put out. Uh, specifically, we are going to tackle the HTTP Basic Authentication exercise. I have no idea how long this has been out, uh, but I'm sure it's probably been a couple of months, if not more. <laughs> so effectively, this is, we get a PCAP file, and it's up to us to go through and analyze and answer, what do we got, seven questions? Uh, questions such as, how many HTTP GET requests are in the PCAP? What is the server operating system? What is the name and version of the web server software? What is the version of OpenSSL running on the server? What is the client's user agent information? What is the username used for basic authentication? And what is the user password for basic authentication? So as many people would probably expect, and I think what's kind of alluded to to the icon that they use is a shark that you're going to use Wireshark for this. It's usually the go-to tool for just about any sort of PCAP analysis. Uh, we're going to uh, subvert some expectations here. <clears throat> we will use um, Wireshark for the analysis. We're also going to use a second tool, uh, that being Network Miner, as it tends to be a little bit quicker um, and presents the information a little bit easier, at least in my regard, or in my opinion. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. I've already downloaded the PCAP and opened it up inside of Wireshark. So let me go ahead and do the transition and bingo, bango. So we are now looking at the entirety of the log. So the first question was, in terms of how many HTTP GET requests are in the PCAP. So we are going to use a display filter for this. Um, it should be HTTP period request period method space dash dash. I've got it partially prepared. And so basically, it's looking for git. As we see in the info, it is git, protocols HTTP, and there are a total of five requests. So we will go back and we will five in the portion bingo bango bongo bongo and so okay <clears throat> that takes care of wireshark <laughs> everything else we're going to basically do a network miner and basically i say that this is with it opened up it breaks everything down into easier categories. So the hosts that are detected in the PCAP, we can see there are four. The individual files that would probably be pulled down there. And it makes pulling out the credentials just so much easier. Because <laughs> there's a tab for it. I am all for going through and just finding the... Oh, wait, I didn't do the transition, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm talking about the interface that you guys can't see. Uh, so, hosts, files that are pulled from the PCAP, if there are images, messages, credentials, the actual sessions in between, the various parameters pulled from the PCAP. It is a quick and dirty tool to go through, assuming the PCAP's not too large, to see as to what you can extract out. So, the question we are left with, the second one, is what is the server operating system? 
And I don't know as to whether or not if you can see that easily, but we are looking at on the hosts, uh, 1.1.1.5 is a free BSD. The same with 192.168.63.20. Uh, 192.168.63.50 is a Windows box. And then we have dot ten, which does not list an operating system. Is that GMBH usually denotes the vendor's German? Eh, I could be wrong. But effectively, okay, we got Windows and we got free BSD. Well, just by the here sheer portion of it. I'm willing to bet that 1.1.1.5 is going to be the, which also is 192.168.63.100, is going to be free BSD. So, let us go back to the interface, and we will answer the question for number two, what is the server operating system? Is FreeBSD. Bingo. What is the name and version of the web server software? Question three. And excuse me. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll transition back to Network Miner. And we can expand the host details. So we see the web server banner, Apache 2.2.15. So we will grab that. And that's the section right here, just after TCP 80, Apache slash 2.2.15 so let's go ahead and transition back to the web interface and apache inside and let's see all right so we're definitely on the right track 1.1.1.5 is definitely going to be the server then. So, same thing. What is the version of OpenSSL running on the server? So, we will go ahead and again transition back and we see that OpenSSL is 0.9 Point eight N. So we will grab that info, we will dump that in there, and we will submit. And what do we have? Hey, all right. Okay, what is the client's user agent information? So we need to find. Who is playing the part of the client? Oh. Let's take a look at the sessions. So 20 Looks like it's doing most of the talking to the 1115. And confirmation that the credentials are shot from 192.168.63.20, the other free BSD machine, and then sent to 1.1.1.5, or the 192.168.63.20, the other free BSD machine. Wow, I'm looking right at it and I can't even. Okay, so we're not looking at Windows then. So we're looking at 63.20. That would make the... user agent. So it looks like links 
2.8.7 RE 1.1. This is going to be that whole string there. So I will copy that out. And transition back. And we'll paste that in there. The whole string. And let's see. Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, username and password are the last sections. So that at least is reasonably simple. <laughs> so it looks like it is web admin, and the password is capital W, three, lowercase b, four, capital D, lowercase m, one, lowercase n. All right. So we'll jot that down. And we will start with, got that denoted. All right. And we'll go back to the sheet and put in the answers. So web admin, and just make sure that that works before we get too ahead of ourselves. Okay, yes, that works. So then grab the W3B4DM1N. Dump that in, and let's see, Wango Tango, ba 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 bango, all done. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> As much with the malware analysis, should you probably go through and figure out how to do all this inside of Wireshark as opposed to just using tools? It couldn't hurt in the event that you don't have access to Network Miner and all you're left with is just Wireshark. Um, I've done more than my fair share of PCAP analysis, so I am looking for just about anything I can do to basically make life that much easier. Although realistically, you probably should go through and do everything inside of Wireshark to start. Not that that's going to be as much fun. So I guess let's do this. Let me, I've got the copy of the questions with the answers that I've jotted down. So, okay, uh, get the server operating system. So that would be 192.168.63.20. So let's see. since we've effectively covered how to do it the other way in terms of running it through Network Miner. Oh, excuse me. So let's see, let's dig through all this and see if we can't pull out. What we would need to answer the questions. So it works. Yeah, it looks like base 64. <laughs> I 
Okay, so we're looking through the various Git HTTP 1.0 requests underneath Hypertext Transfer Protocol Authorization. So we get basic and then what looks like base 64 with a return and then a new line which breaks down to give us the credentials, the web admin, and then W3B4DM1N, which was question six and seven. So we are looking then, okay, so yeah, server, here we go. Apache 2.2.15 FreeBSD, along with the OpenSSL version. So that would answer question two. Apache 2215 answers question three. Question four is OpenSSL, which is denoted there. Then the only thing we're waiting, or the only thing left to discover would be what is the client's user agent information. And I realize I'm going to stumble through this because it's been a little while. <laughs> so I guess maybe it is a good thing that we go through and do this. Yeah, there we go. All going to be centered around the Git HTTP 1.0 and then the HTTP 1.1 200 response. There is our user agent for our box, our 192.168.6320. Links 2.7 or 2.8.7 release point one lib www fm 2.14 ssl mm 1.4.1 open ssl 0.9.8 n. So that covers question one, question two, three, four, five, six, seven. All just basically finding the answers inside of Wireshark. So again, just centered around the Git requests and then the 200 responses directly after the Git requests. Oh, there we go, that wasn't too difficult. Then again, this is basic auth, so. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is nice review. So let's go ahead and knock that one out. We will transition back. And that is that. So this was the DFIR exercise HTTP basic authentication. How many more of these do I have? Look at that, I got the bottom row done. So it looks like that's six more. I don't suppose there's anything new with malware analysis. Nope. Those are all done. Okay. Oh, which is nice. Okay, so then I guess next one will be disclose the agent. But that will be the next video so I don't make this too long. <laughs> so I will see everybody in the next one, which will be DFIR, Disclose the Agent.